Hi, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is the Butter Queen, and we are during a winter storm, so I just decided I would bring you guys another video. So today we are doing a garlic grilled pork chop, and it's not only garlic, but it's different type of herbs. So I'm gonna call it a garlic herb pork chop that's been grilled and seared, and today we're gonna use um, our grill paddle today so without further ado let's get started so we're going to start out with some pork chops that have been marinating in a lemon butter dill sauce okay and then with a mixture of tony saturis italian dressing you guys this is amazing you need to get it if you have it in your grocery store if you need to know where to find it at just link in the comments below and I'll try my best to see if I can find a store, but I know it's sold here in uh, Houston, Texas, in the Food Town stores. This is amazing. It's not only, it's not your original Italian dressing, it is like Italian to like 100 degree. Okay, so this is really good. Okay, and the base of our seasonings today is the garlic parmesan if you have a walmart you can find this i know it's chicken on there but trust me you can use this for anything this is the start the base of our seasoning mixture and then after that we just kind of threw in everything that's herb wise in our seasoning pantry okay so in here this is what we have right here you see it you can see it it's beautiful and it has everything that's in my seasoning pantry for these garlic herb grilled pork chops. Okay, remember I told you guys that I'm trying my best to get away from all of these starches and fried things, but with this weather going like this, you gotta cook up everything that's in your house so it won't go bad, okay? But in here we got black pepper, we got vegetable seasoning, we have dried herbs, which is onion, bell pepper, celery. We have onion powder. We have garlic powder. We have Italian seasoning, dried oregano, dried thyme. We have all these herbs in here that's going to give it that pop. And then we also have some Asian garlic seasoning in here as well. And I will show you that if you have a Costco's or Sam's in your location, you can buy that there. I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's by Weber. And you can buy this as well as Sam's and Costco. It's Weber Asian Garlic Rub. It's amazing as well. Okay, then over here, we have some pork chops that have been marinating, like I said, for about 30 to 45 minutes in our mixture of our lemon butter dill and our wonderful Tony Saturis Italian seasoning. Okay, so let's get ready to get this started. So of course you all know that it has been a doozy with this weather. So the first thing we're gonna do guys is we're gonna get these seasoned up with our dry crust mixture over here. And like I said, you guys, it has been a doozy with this weather. We are here in the Houston area. And if I tell you it's been more than a notion with the freeze right now we're going into our second freeze the kids enjoyed the snow the other day and now we're going into our second freeze our power has been on and off we had uh lost power from sunday night until just yesterday um and so we're gonna lay these down on our cutting board so we can start preparing to season them and i'm only gonna do like one, two, three, maybe four at a time, because that's how I'm gonna place them on the grill paddle. But yes, it has been um, a beast here in Houston, Texas, a place where we do not get this type of weather. So I can say that it's been a blessing because we've never seen this before. But at the same time, it's been very hard. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna drizzle this on here. And remember, you don't have to be so, so generous, but then you don't wanna slack in flavor because we did marinate these. So we don't have to just go so overboard in the seasoning. 
And what we want to do is we want to take a spoon, guys, a spoon, and just kind of spread it around on there. If you use your hand, it's going to stick to your hand. And then all the seasoning is going to come out. But if you use this wonderful spoon, see there, still clear. So you just press it around in there and it's going to give those pork chops a wonderful color when we get ready to sear them. You don't have to preheat your searing pan or your um, grill pan because your griddle, shall I say, is that it immediately begins to get the temperature because there's a gauge on there. So it doesn't take long for it to. And we're gonna put a little bit more right here on this one. Okay. And then I'm gonna lift this up so you can see the beautiful colors and different. Herbs that are going to be marinated and cooked into these pork chops. And see what I mean? You have not lost any seasoning, it's still on the meat. Okay, so look at there. Isn't that beautiful? Those are gorgeous. All right, so we're going to move these over here. And then we're going to take our roux and we're going to put it here. Let's turn it around. Like I said, guys, we are preparing for our second freeze here in the Houston area. And man, oh man, this is going to go down in history. And we're going to turn this on. And we're going to start it at 275. It will not take long to begin to heat up. And then we're going to brush out. It's a non-stick griddle, but at the same time, we want to make sure that our pork chops don't stick. Like I told y'all before, when your children put up the, your utensils, you really never can find them. So, and you guys gotta excuse me, my allergies are horrible. They are horrible. So what we wanna do is we wanna take a little bit of oil, just a little bit, because remember this is a non-stick griddle and I'm quite sure everybody has used these to make pancakes. And we're gonna just brush this across here. And we're just doing this to make sure that they do, do not stick but they shouldn't. Um, and you can also use the uh, spray, the non-stick spray. You can use that as well. You just wanna make sure that the majority of it is covered. I'm definitely praying for everyone in the world, my family and I, have been trying to keep everybody lifted up in prayer, especially our senior citizens. My mom is one, my mother-in-law is a senior citizen and um, they lost power for a while. And so it's been a rough road for me to just not be able to get to my mommy. And uh, to make sure that she's okay. Okay, so this is already beginning to heat up. So now we're gonna take it in up to 300 degrees. And we're gonna pull out our drip pan to catch the oil, okay? So this is this feels good to my hand guys because it's cold. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place these season side down onto our griddle. Okay. Season side down. Because what that does is that seals in the seasoning.
Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna go back into and begin to season our other side while this side is going. Remember I said you want to be generous, but you don't have to put so much because they have been marinating. And remember, we're going to go back and we're going to use the back of our spoon to place that beautiful seasoning down into our meat. Back of our spoon. We're just gonna press this in like this. And we're gonna make it as large as possible. Look at that. Now we're gonna turn them back down to 300 because we don't want them to dry out and we don't want them to cook too fast for they're tough and not tender. There's nothing like a tough grilled pork chop. We have a place here, guys, in Houston that's called um, uh, Frank's. And oh my God, their pork chops are amazing. Their grilled chops are so tender. If you don't have teeth, you can chew them. And what I've learned is slow and steady wins the race. The smell of this herb is cooking just so wonderful. This is so, it smells so amazing. When you put that season side down, it just does something. The only thing I hate, guys, is these center cut pork chops. They always have that bubble effect on those middle pork, the middle portion, that center part. Okay. So we're gonna let those cook. Now we're gonna take a different set of tongs, not the same ones we used with the raw ones. And we're gonna take these and we're gonna look at these because we want them to slowly cook. Oh, they are so beautiful, guys. Oh my goodness. They are cooking so beautiful. Okay guys, we'll be back so I can show you what they look like on the other side. Okay guys, we're back. Look at how they are starting to look. I don't know if you can see it, but look at this. Look at the beauty in here. And look at that, that is beautiful. And then see they are moist, they're not dry nice and slow that is what we're looking for nice and slow just nice and slow guys and of course everybody knows that the bone is the part that's all the flavor all the flavor That's where all the flavor is. So now we're going to get ready to serve these up on a nice serving plate. It's your serving plate. Because we don't want them to overcook. We want them to be seared to perfection, but not overcooked. We do not want to overcook them. Look at how beautiful those look. Look at those. Look at this. Now I use nicely on here. The big ones will kind of turn these over a little bit longer.
Look at all these beautiful drippings, guys. You can take this and make a oil-based um, salad dressing. Just pour them in the dripping pan and put you some seasoning in there and they are good to go. All right, guys, we're gonna add some more of these to our pan. And remember, season side down. We're gonna place our season side down. Make sure that the uncooked does not touch the cook. You see there's space in between them. Now remember this is a different, a very different, this is a green. back over here because he's one of the bigger ones and when you're cooking you have to go back and forth with utensils you cannot use the same utensil well you shouldn't i put it that way you shouldn't because you don't want to have cross contamination and make someone sick remember so now we're going to drizzle this side Once again, generous, but not so generous because remember they've been marinating, so they already have some seasoning on them and flavor. And guys, like I said, this started out with the base of the garlic parmesan package, and then I just grabbed all the herbal seasonings in my pantry, and I just made a nice seasoning blend for these. Excuse me. Remember the back of the spoon? You rub it in. That way you don't lose any of that wonderful seasoning. And you all know the best way that we most of the time do meat is with our hands, but I want to make sure that these keep the flavor that we've added to them. You don't want to lose that. See the back is clean. Okay, guys, I think this one is ready to come out. We're going to use our green one. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Here are our grilled garlic or pork chops. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and comment below. Share this with your family and let me know how you like your healthy pork chops. Until the next time, bye you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, and safe rest of your week.